already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Five of Swords. And it's with this Nine of Wands. Now, the Five, the five of Swords... It's showing that you could find yourself with some mixed feelings about life in general, maybe a person or maybe a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because that could ruin the very things that you want the most, maybe close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. With the Five of Swords, it's important to pick your battles. Now let's pair it with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, when this card comes up, the first and the best step is often to take a deep breath, Calm down. Don't let things that you're over, don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So, try to get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So, the recent past energy between you and your person, five of swords, clarified by this nine of wands. So, Sagittarius, for some of you out there, it looks like you start to close yourself off to your person. You Maybe you start to have mixed feelings about them or the connection or something they did or said bothered you. So, yeah, it's indicating that, yeah, maybe you put up a wall. See how this Five of Wands is the card below the word pass. This person, he's kind of like caged himself in with all these wands, and he's not letting anyone come near him. Yeah, you put up a barricade. Yeah, you're not letting anyone in. You're just going to sit there. Yeah, and, the, and what happened was that uh, this made your person really pissed. Yeah, that's them up there with the Five of Swords. See how this man, he's... Five of Swords is a card above the word pass. This man, he's running around with two swords. He's got three on the ground. So that he can pick them up and use them if he has to. And if you can see his face, I don't know if you can, but if you put this your screen on full, you can see how angry his face is. The details on his face. It's very angry. There were people sitting there at this fire on the ground where he's standing. They all got a glimpse of him and they all scrammed. And those are wolves or dogs in front of them. They just got a glimpse of them too. And they're about to get the hell out of town. So your person's really, really pissed. Uh, Sagittarius, they're really pissed that you, you're not, um, you're not budging. Yeah, you put up a wall. And, um. You're closing yourself off. Yeah. Maybe you've got some worries. About maybe some things that might happen or 
Maybe you don't trust yourself. Maybe the person really picking you. Maybe your person really made you mad. And you don't trust your actions towards them. So maybe you feel like you need to put up a wall. Because you don't know what you would do if they came near you. But anyway, your person's really pissed that they can't, they can't get to you like they want to. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the tower and it's with justice. Now the tower can be about trying too tight, trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster because you have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people's situations that you have counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be drastic because we all know that nature is the, we all know that change is the nature of life. That's what I'm trying to say. So, if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, well, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now, it's with justice, which deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. But it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions or karma. Not everything. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved in a court case, it's more than likely to be resolved, at least a large degree in your favor when you get the justice card in the reading. So, coming up for you and your person, Sagittarius, Tower Clarified by Justice. So, yeah, like I said, your person's really pissed. You closing yourself off. Probably for a good reason. And it looks like, um, the, well, the connection was probably in trouble before you started closing yourself off. And what it's showing is that the relationship or the connection, it falls apart. It comes crashing down. That's what it's showing here. And because justice is with this, it's it's showing that you're you're kind of um you're kind of relieved. It's kind of like you're saying, it's about time. Because she's got her fist balled up. The justice card is below the word present. She bit into a pomegranate. It's in her hand. You can see the teeth mark. The teeth marks. Put your screen on full. You can take a look at that pomegranate. If any of us have ever had pomegranate, apple you know how hard the shell is on that piece of fruit she bit right into it she and she in one hand and then on the other hand she balled her fist up and she like socked it to the sky like pow <laughs> like finally bam this is what's needed to happen yeah, it's kind of like you're ready to move on. You're glad it fell apart. Justice has finally been served. So, looks like you're satisfied that it fell apart. Yeah, you're ready. It looks like you might have been ready for this so that you could move on. So, one of the good things about the tower is that you are enlightened by the disaster. You're awakened. You're no longer seeing the connection for what you wanted it to be. 
You're no longer wearing rose-tinted glasses. You see everything for what it is. Yeah, there's no more mystery. There's, there's no more wishing things were different. It falls apart and you're enlightened. And with the justice card here, you're like, all right, hallelujah, finally. So, something happens where it just, it comes crashing down. I don't know if your person knocked at your door and they realized they, that you weren't budging. And then something happened that caused it to just, bam, right on the floor, the whole whole thing just fell apart, and you felt it, and it felt good to you, so let's move on over, let's take a look and see what the challenge is, we got this Knight of Pentacles, and it's with Hierophant, now the Knight of Pentacles, it's about stability, this card can indicate that you you're ready for a serious relationship, or maybe you were hoping that you were going to have a serious relationship with your person. Um, it means solid commitment, the Knight of Pentacles. It's a very stable and practical type of energy. Um, it's about a committed relationship, practical, patient type of person. The Knight of Pentacles is... Is like your knight in shining armor. Very loyal and faithful type of energy. Now, it's with the Hierophant. The Hierophant, with this card, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters, their intelligence and their empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So this could be you. Or it could be someone coming towards you. Or it could be someone that you know, they're quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they're the genuine article, the real deal, a true blue. Highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So your challenge, Sagittarius. Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant. So what I'm getting is that, yeah, you're, even though the connection it looks like it's, it fell apart or it, it looks like it fell apart, that's what I'm getting. And you're, you're proud of it. Your person, they could be trying to reach out to you still. Reach this, still trying to reach out to you. Um, they could be letting you know that they want to make the relationship more committed, more um, solid and stable, like the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. M but. Because the Hierophant is here, you're more interested in loyalty. Yeah, loyalty and uh, honesty. And someone who's really genuine. And you don't feel like you're going to get that with this person. Yeah, they're, they're probably reaching out to you, but they're not really telling you what you really need to hear. Yeah, you're looking for someone like uh, the Hierophant. Even though the Knight of Pentacles is not bad, but for a lot of you, you, you don't trust that you're going to get the Knight of Pentacles or the Hierophant with this person. So, they, they could be reaching out to you. The Knight of Pentacles, they come in trying to be stable, slow, take things slow and steady. Yeah, but you're on a different, a different trip. You're looking for, you're looking for the real deal. And you don't think that you're going to get that with this person. Even though they're approaching you with what they can bring to the table. 
but you don't I'm getting that you don't buy it so the outcome four of swords and seven of cups now the four of swords can signify a need for a break could be for normal life this can also mean that you or someone in your life they might withdraw but the withdrawal is not permanent it is a sign to give people their space. You could be feeling like you need some time and space to yourself. Others may be pushing too hard for bits and time of your uh, of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their at your word. When others say no to you, take them at their at your word. Let me say this again. I keep getting tongue twisted. When others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. And I say this because if you look at the Four of Swords, this man, he's resting after struggle. Yeah, he went up to the top of the mountains. The Four of Swords is the card above the word outcome. He went up to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs with him and four swords with him. And he'll pull out those swords and use them if he has to. And he also brought a candle with him. Because he plans on being there overnight or maybe for a couple of nights. So yeah, it's about rest after a struggle. You just want some solitude. You want to recover from what you've been through with this person. And because the Seven of Cups is here, which is about choices. Yeah, you're evaluating your choices, Sagittarius. A lot of you have, have a, lot, a lot going on for yourself. And you know that there's more out there for you. So you're just resting and getting some... Um, some renewal, renewed energy going on you're trying to bring that back some renewal to your life and you just don't want to be bothered right now you just want to break and like I said you you're coming up you're evaluating your choices because you got a lot going on for yourself yeah you're no chump change so you're trying to figure out what's your your next great move but you you know you know that you need some rest. Yeah, maybe a lot of you will take a little vacation. Yeah, so that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person in the reading could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker, or some type of situation. Take the readings for however they resonate. Also the roles. The roles in the reading, they can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. Yeah, so just take it for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Sagittarius, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'm wishing you a happy holidays. I'm wishing you happy holidays. I can never say it enough, Sagittarius. 
I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.